bad news. We have definitely been left alone in the middle of nowhere, and we need to come up with a plan. Oh, you're being kind of quiet. I'm not asking for a lot. Just a little encouragement, please. You know, I was a cheerleader. You could be a cheerleader, too. Don't tell your dad I said that. Okay. Oh, I need to think. Oh, if someone would just help me figure this out. Bubbles? Can I help? Henry. Can you help? Yeah, you can help. I wouldn't even be in this situation if you hadn't let yourself get involved with a mobster. What were you thinking? Now you got me into this mess. So yeah, you can figure out a way to help me and my baby get out of it. Where's Katie? Uh, yeah, well, it's only natural. You would want to know where your wife is. You're married to Katie? Cute girl. I'm Ralph Manzo. Yeah, hey, Brad Snyder. Nice, I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice. yeah. So, uh, where is she? Uh, ladies' room, uh, which means you better get out of here before she spies you and spoils the whole surprise. You know, it's okay. It's nothing to tip her off. I don't have a cake yet. You know, I'm, I'm throwing a surprise shower for my wife, you know, so don't let the cat out when she comes back. Your wife's pregnant? Yeah, well, you didn't notice? No, she was wearing a big coat. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to talk. That's going to make her feel really good. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have a baby soon. Yeah, baby on the way. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. That yeah. really is. Uh, you're going to have to give her extra special care for the little lady. You better believe it. Uh, so just make sure you get her out of here as soon as she gets back so she doesn't see the cake. All right, you got it. You got it. All right, and you know what? You know, uh, you're welcome to come. You want to come to the baby shower? You come. I mean, any friend of Henry's a friend of ours. Oh, thanks very much for the invite, but I do have some business to do. I, I've got to deliver a package, and Henry here is nice enough to help me with it. Oh man, I'm sorry. That's that's. I'm so, you know I'm really sorry. That's the business that he was okay, It's okay. About. We're, we're, we're almost no, done. No, no, we're no, almost no, done. I, I got an idea. Okay, when she comes back, I'll keep her occupied. You take the cake. You bring it to the house, and you know that way, if I bring her home, she'll never suspect a party. So she'll be super extra surprised. How's that for a great idea? No. I, I just think it'd be better to stick to the original plan. Why? 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 Because Katie thinks it's her mission in life to save me from depression. And with Vienna gone, if I just took off... You know, you did, no. yeah, you're right, you're right. No, no, yeah. no, you're right, you're right. You know, she, uh, she'll worry. She'll worry. You yeah. smart. Okay, so just make sure you call me when you two get close so I get enough time to set everybody up to say, you know, yo. Surprise. I will give you plenty of time. You better get out of here before oh, she comes yeah, out, okay? Okay. Yeah. okay, hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Remember, you know, hey, baby shower, you know, it, it's... What, you know what I mean? All right, see. Where is she? Where's the money? It's in my pocket, but you don't see it until I see Katie. That's not the way it works. Money first, girl left. No, you listen, you listen to me, Uncle Ralphie. I, I have played along with you long enough, okay? I've given in to your threats, and I've jumped through hoops. I'm not going to do that anymore. You won't even look at the check until I have Katie in front of me. I am tired of you running the show. It, it, it's my turn to call the shots. That's an unfortunate choice of words when your friend's life is at stake. No, no you couldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Katie is an innocent bystander, okay? You can't, you can't kill her, all right? You can't. I won't kill her if you give me the money. Wait a second. Wait, how do I know you're not going to pull another dirty trick? Because I'm a man of my word. How do I know that? How many times have I threatened you? Too many. How many times have I come through? Always. So, you give me the money, I give you the girl, a deal's a deal. How does this work? How and when do I get Katie back? I check with the bank. If the check is good, I release the girl. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, I wish I could say the same thing. Well, why don't you go on to the party now? The guest of honor will be there shortly. She better be, Ralph. I've been abandoned here with no food, nothing to drink. It's hot as hell in here. Nobody knows where I am, and I miss Brad. I miss him so much. Is the whining helping? Don't you make fun of me, Henry. Don't you dare. Well, it's not like you're tied to a burning stake here, Kate. We've been through worse than this. Come on. We survived that deserted island. And all the plots and the schemes and the murder threats. I mean, instead of yelling at me, why don't you use that energy to figure out a way to get out of this place? Thanks. You've been a great help. No. <sighs> Maybe there's something up there I can use. Just hoist my pregnant self up there. Hey! Hello. Oh, I'm 
so glad you guys could make it. Hey, did I tell you that we are having a boy? Yes! <laughs> it's good news then, it's good news now. What? <sighs> Katie Ann Peretti Snyder, what do you think you're doing? Margo, I'm trying to reach the shelf. Did you bring a ladder with you? You're pregnant. You shouldn't be climbing on anything. Well, I shouldn't be locked up in here with no food or water either. I have a whole herd of cops at my disposal. You'll be out of here in no time. Now get down off that chair. Okay. Okay, you're right. Thank you. Since when are you a quitter? Shut up and go away, Craig. You're not helping. And you are telling her to sit here and wait for you like a good little girl? It's a life and death situation. The last thing she should do is nothing. Find yourself a way out, now! And risk hurting herself or the baby? And once you're free, you tell me who did this to you and I'll take care of whoever's responsible. Oh, no, you won't. Because no one treats my sister like this. Katie doesn't need you going all vigilante now. You have no idea what Katie needs, so for once, would you please just shut up? No, you shut up! No, you shut up! No, you shut up! You shut up! You shut up! Both of you, shut up! No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going crazy yet. But if I don't get out of here soon, I will. You guys better have a good reason for not getting in touch with me, like maybe you're dead. Because that's what you're gonna be if I don't hear from you soon. I want that girl back, and I want her back now. What the hell could they have done with her? Before you got here, where's Katie? Uh, she should be right behind me. Yeah, she should be. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, don't worry. I did everything I was supposed to do to get her here, and she should be coming in any second. Did you give Katie a specific time to show up? Yeah, of course I did, but you know her. She's, she's on Katie time. She'd probably stop to pet a puppy or something. Huh? Brad. Maybe you should call her. No, 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 what, and ruin the surprise? No, 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 we should go in with the party. When she gets here, she's gonna wanna see us all having a lot of fun. So, uh, I say we have a drink or two while we wait. Well, since Katie can't drink anyway, uh, I went ahead and opened up some champagne. Great, uh, I'll have one of those. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I have a refill? In a minute, I was, I was gonna give a toast. Well, that's all the more reason to give me some more champagne. I was gonna give toast to you, knucklehead. You know, it's bad luck to drink to yourself. You toasted me? Why? That's an excellent question. You know, when my wife gets here, I'll give a toast to her. In the meanwhile, I want to toast to her best friend. Hey, you know, you two, you know, you've had your ups and downs, but you've stuck by her always until the end, no matter what hard times you've been going through. Yeah, you're, uh, you're really embarrassing me here. Well, no, you know what? No, it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. Okay, when I married Katie, hey, you became one of my good friends. And I know that when little Junior is born, there's no one he's gonna be able to count on more than Uncle Henry. All right? To Uncle Henry. <laughs> to Uncle Henry. Henry. <laughs> I'm gonna kill your Uncle Henry, and this time I mean it. Because I'm sorry I've been racking my brain, baby doll, but I cannot figure out a way to get out of this. And I don't want you to be scared. Hey. No, what don't talk to our son that way. You're freaking him out. Brad, oh, Brad, I knew you wouldn't desert me. Didn't sound like it. I was just feeling sorry for myself, but that's over now, because you're here. I gave you that necklace. I expect you to live up to it. What does that mean? You're my very smart wife, you tell me. Well, the little circle inside is our baby. And the circle on the outside is me. Protecting him. Yeah, yeah. Right, and what is it? It's like our wedding rings. It's a commitment. A promise. You take care of the baby, I take care of you, and then everything else starts to look up. Get it? Looking up? Brad, there's a window. Do you see it? <laughs> yeah, I see it. Oh my god, I didn't notice it before, but it's definitely a window. I should have known that you'd help me find a way out of here. I didn't find it. You found it. I use it. Any sign of Katie? 
Not yet. I better call her.